So this is a 1970s Tonka, uh, they called these turbine trucks. This one's a crane, flatbed crane. And um, it's, it's in good shape. It's got some issues with it. Oh, come on. Um, it's missing the Tonka badge here. You can see the remnants of the little oval that's here. Um, and then there's supposed to be a piece of paper stuck there. There's supposed to be a little thing that this hook hooks to. You know, little forks, like forklift would pick up a box or pallets or what have you. But uh, this truck's pretty cool. Uh, the arm pivots back and forth. Yeah, it works just like the Tonka tow, tr uh, tow trucks do. And that hook goes down there. It goes down pretty far. Uh, and then when you're reeling it back up, it's got a uh, little stopper right here that um, stops the... Uh, crank from, you know, generally if you have it here and something's hooked to it and you stick it there, you know, then, then it won't pull it over. See, I'm pulling the truck over right now. It won't, it won't pull it over. So still got the hook. That was kind of surprising. Hook's metal. It's in good shape. It's got some weight to it, actually. It's made out of either pewter or die cast. I haven't decided what it's made out of. Around front here, the the tires are still good. Uh, they're not all, you know, they're not all worn out. I know you guys can't see that very well. I don't know. The, it's not dark in this room. Camera's just not picking it up. Anyway, tires still have good rubber. Uh, you know, it's not truck's not rattling around on the on the floor as you would expect it to. Tonka called these turbine trucks. Uh, this cab style. Uh, it's got the uh, it's it's a cab over truck basically. It's got little little headlights here. These little rubber things have an interesting story. The Tonka didn't always do that. Um, Tonka trucks got some weight to them, of course. And so when they were when they were uh, making these, you know, kids would, if they played with them inside, kids would, you know, run them into the wall or whatever. All the steel around here, that'd bust up the trim, wood trim on a house pretty bad. Um, so... They were advised to put some some kind of plastic bumpers on them, and uh, rather than plastic, they settled for these nice rubber. Uh, I'll call them bumpers, little rubber bumpers here, pads, and um, they're actually soft. If you find one that's not that they're not rotted off of, they're still quite soft. This one, they're still pretty soft, and um, they use those on dump trucks and the turbine trucks and um once they moved away from this style uh they had a, a modern uh turbine truck that had it had a different face on it completely and uh, they didn't have bumpers on them anymore I'd, they quit putting the rubber things on there but when this was made that was still a big deal now this is an actually a newer uh release of this truck. This is from the mid-70s. The earlier ones would have narrower wheels. Yeah, I got the Christmas sweater on. Uh, they'd have narrower wheels and um, they'd have little white wall and then a chrome center. You know, the old classic Tonka tires. But um, this one's newer one from about the mid-70s. So it's got the uh, wider tires and the white wheels. Spin it around here. No badge on this side. Other than the stickers being gone, honestly. It's not in terrible shape. It's got some paint issues, but overall, it's in good shape. 
And then, like I said, the, uh, you know, when that hook's not locked, when that crank's not locked in there, you can pull the hook down. And then the, uh, on the bottom here, they use these a lot for dump trucks. So this is set up like a dump truck, the way that this uh, flatbed's riveted on here. However, it does not have um, any of the, uh, it's not equipped with anything to make it dump. See this bar here that holds the uh, um, boom in place for the, the, the crane? Uh, that keeps it from dumping. But you can see they placed it on the uh, the framework that the dump bed goes on. Because it's got this hook here. This hook would, there'd be a metal rod that went through this hole here. My finger's hat. And then it would catch onto these hooks. And then there's a little hydraulic thing that would hook up here. And down here, there's a little hole down here. And um, then you would lift the lever here, which was where that rod went, releasing the bed, and it'd throw the bed back. There were some really good springs in those things. But um, this one's not equipped to do that. No trailer hitch on this one, just got the little slot there. But it's so far back, you couldn't really pull anything with it anyway. But then the it's got the uh, individual tires, uh, a lot of suspension in those. You know, running over rocks or whatever, you know. Where'd our hook go? Doesn't stay on that pulley very well. But that's the only thing I've found uh, that's bad about it. Plastic's a little yellowed, but, you know, if you see a lot of these are broke out. They're like an $18 piece, though, to fix that to buy a new windshield for them so uh when i find them with the window regardless of the condition of it i'm happy i found one so like comment subscribe for more have a great day i'll catch you in the next video